Nigeria Red Cross Society has expressed deep commiserations with the global community and Nigeria in particular over the loss of lives to the dreaded coronavirus COVID-19. Professor Peter Kachi, Chairman Anambra Branch of the Corps, extended the association's solidarity with the global community while delivering the 2020 Red Cross Day celebration message on Friday in Oka. He reiterated the call for people to observe all the prevention protocols to stay safe, noting that it remains the best way of fighting the pandemic. According to him, most people who become infected experience mild illness and recover, but for others, however, it can be very severe. When I joined by Aliu, Aliu Daube, spokesperson, Red Cross Nigeria. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Today is World Red Cross Day. How has it been celebrating without the usual public gathering and public lectures, among others? Yeah, it has been uh, very pathetic to say that we cannot have our activities as we used to have them. But uh, all the same thing, we will continue with our activities. We try to acknowledge the support the healthcare workers, the volunteers have been giving across the world, and especially in Nigeria. So this we've uh, been doing in Nigeria, just to give them an, an applause, to clap for them, to, to tell them that we are together with them while they're out there trying to save our lives. And then we also think about them a lot. And also to try to call on, on communities uh, to try to reduce the stigmatization and uh, uh, that they have to do, that they usually do uh, to, to, to people that are affected by this uh, COVID-19 and so on and so forth. So that uh, people will be brave enough to come out and declare that they are affected by this virus and they could be treated. What is the focus and significance of this year's celebration? The focus is always uh, the same all over the world, uh, mainly uh, to remember the people that are mostly affected by crisis and, and violence, people that don't have a place to sleep, people that don't have houses anymore, people that are in their need of assistance and uh, the need for people to keep uh, supporting these people. And then uh, this way we will be able to mobilize resources, we will be able to mobilize uh, people to be able to support at every time when there is conflict, when there is violence. What has been the activities and the contributions of the Red Cross um, in helping uh, Nigeria to tackle with COVID-19? The activities we do is mainly to support the authorities, uh, to respect the guidelines that they have been given, uh, to respect uh, the wearing of masks, to respect uh, the social distancing, and also to inform people and our communities that we help to be able to respect them so that we will be able to get out of this pandemic that we are facing. This is what we've been trying to do in our activities. Uh, we always try to adapt and adopt the guidelines. Adapting in this situation means that uh, we try to reduce the amount of uh, population we put together in one place to be able to give them assistance. This way, we will be able to reduce the spread of the pandemic and be able to save the communities that we are assisting. And of course, also support uh, in, 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 in saving uh, our own staff. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Dawave, for joining us on the news. Thank you, too, for having me.